Hello everyone, this is the Introverted Positron, and thank you for once again joining me as it is time... Wait, that's not right. Boo! Hello everyone, this is the Introverted Positron, and thank you for once again entering the Nostalgia Nexus where we are playing Tales of Symphonia. So last time we actually found uh, out where the gateway back to Silverant was. Uh, and so we're back in Silverant now, and now we have to figure out what we're going to do next. I think we're looking for particular things. Anyway, let's, uh, let's do this. Again, on a journey of regeneration. I wonder if it's okay that I came back. Yes. What are you talking about all of a sudden? I mean, I just quit in the middle of the journey. Even though the people of Silverant were all, were all cheering, me out, cheering me on. It couldn't be helped. We did what we had to do. When I got my soul back, I was so happy I completely forgot about Silverant and just got all excited. I forgot how much the people of this world are suffering. Even the Chosen smiles when she's happy and cries when she's sad. You don't have to bear all the burden by yourself. And also Colette, as long as you continue to care about the people of this world, you are the chosen of regeneration. At least that's what I think. Professor Rain, tomorrow let's start our journey again. The journey to save Silverant to save this land. Yes. All right. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drop off uh, Mythos with uh, Neil over here. Chosen one, Lloyd. How is the journey to release the seals going? Ah, uh, well, actually, uh. Everything's going well. Anyway, we were wondering if you could take care of him for a while. Hmm. I certainly don't mind, but who is he? He's traveling with us for a moment. Uh, for the moment. We're heading to an area that is too dangerous for him. Are you heading to the Palma Costa Ranch? What? What are you talking about? That was destroyed. Oh, you're not? We've recently received reports that the Zions are wandering inside the ruins of the ranch. We've increased our security. I wonder if Magnus came back. I don't know if it's related, but there are also reports that the Zions are attacking the sea route between Izuald um, and Palma Costa. They seem to be constructing some sort of giant infrastructure on the ocean floor. The Remore Island Human Ranch is located in that region. I wonder what's going on over there. Maybe it's the mana cannon that Rodile is building. Well, if you're worried about it, why don't we go take a look? Even if it's not the mana cannon, the sea will become the next Luin if the Palma Costa Ranch is operational again. Yeah, let's check out the Palma Costa Ranch. Well, it seems our plans are set. We'll come back for Mythos later. I see. I understand. Genus, be careful. And Rain and Lloyd and everyone else too. Yeah, just wait here for a little while. Is that okay, Mythos? Sure. Genus, please take this with you. What's this? It's a memento of my sister who passed away. I can't take that. You find yourself in danger, play it. I don't know what it can do, but it may just be able to save you. Okay, thank you. I promise I'll come back and return it to you. Acquire Mythos's panpipe. Interesting. I forgot about that. Um. Take care. We'll take good care of him. Please be careful. All right. So, um. There's no place to get better weapons than what I currently have. And that's alright. I think I have pretty much the best uh, equipment that I can have for the moment anyway. I doubt that I actually have the best equipment I can have at the moment. Um, but I, I have a pretty good set for now anyway. I should be fine. Um, the good news, uh, by the way, is that about the Sword Dancer is that uh, it's not a big worry. Um, I mean, I'll talk about that in a second. First, Human Ranch Rebuilt. Uh, it'll be terrible if Palma Costa's human ranch is rebuilt. Yes, they'll attack the city again and kill more innocent people. And make more X-Fears. x manufacturer. I heard the stories, but human ranches are an abomination. Uh, are an abomin uh, abomination. I can't say that, apparently. Yeah, I don't want to see any more people killed for the sake of x -fears. Abomination. Okay. Indeed. There must be no more victims like Alicia. Never again. 
<laughs> Still don't know everything about him at this point. Alright, um, so let's actually head off to the wind. If I'm not completely mistaken, uh, we should be able to do stuff there now. Nice thing about having the rear arts is that it's really easy to get around. There's also lots of uh, locations that we can visit that we weren't able to before. Like, as you can see on the map, there's a whole continent that we were just not able to access before. Um, so I might check out there because often that's the kind of uh, way that you'll find secrets in these games. Um, I also want to check out this. Because for some reason, I feel like something happens here. I am wrong. Uh, but yeah, there's a few things we're going to do, or at least check on before we move on with the with the story. Uh, she's a walking bomb. What should we do with the design ranches rebuilt? Hmm. Let's let the professor blow it up again. <laughs> Rain has that kind of power? That's amazing. Not only she can... It, only can she heal, but she can destroy as well? Well, yeah. So she's a human bomb. No, Regal, she's half-elf. She's a half-elven bomb. Half-elven bomb. It's kind of long to say. How about he bomb? Wow. A helium bomb? Is that really... Wow, the professor can make a... Make a boy bombs with the professor that... I'm sure she really would explode. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> All right, Lewin. I know it was like half Elven Bomb, but still. Um, okay, true. Everyone, welcome back. As you can see, the restoration of the city is rather. Uh, how much can I donate? I legitimately don't know how much I have. Oh, thank you so much. How much do I have? Oh, I actually have quite a bit. Uh, let's donate another 10,000 because I don't actually need lots of items right now. Uh, but let's come go and come back. Uh, but yeah, this is actually something that's really important to the game. Uh, everyone will go back as you rather... Okay, so let's put in another 10,000 and then we'll keep the rest. Okay, let's double check to see if anything's been rebuilt. Uh, because basically, the more money you put in, the more the city can be rebuilt. No, I can't put any more right now. Um, yeah, all right. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about it for now then. But yeah, this um, this town actually uh, it plays a pretty important role for uh, the sequel to this game, like the direct sequel, uh, Tales of Symphony of Dawn of the New World. Uh, and I don't believe I'm going to end up playing that on here at some point, but I could be wrong. Um, honestly, it all depends on how this series is received. Um, I'm definitely going to do Tales of Berseria, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do after that point. Uh, I, I honestly just have to see how, how the uh, different series are, are being received, and then I'll, I'll make decisions once I have that kind of information. Um, I should also check different points on the land. Um, let's see... Because I wanna I wanna find skits and stuff that pop up. Because uh they're not easy to find sometimes. Uh, let's go over here. <laughs> I hate the controls for these things. I mean it's not that bad, but at the same time, it can be rather annoying. Okay, I guess we'll we'll check out this monument. Uh long mo can be used now by the island of cats. Which tells us the location. So this is the island of cats. Um, I was actually wrong about not being able to buy new equipment right now. I believe there actually is stuff here. Let's go check out this village over here. And it is a village, I'll tell you that much. Um, but in case you're wondering, cats are actually the, uh, the guys that are in cat suits, or people in cat suits, or at least that's what they appear to be. Um, but we're in Cat's Village now. Um... And yeah, this is where they have a lot of them. Um, and these are actually quite good, but I'm not buying them right now because I can't even afford one. Uh, but what, what are we a little... Oh, Miracle Gel, right. Let's buy a couple of these. Well, maybe not. Um, a few Apple Gel won't hurt, though. I actually do need some of that. Um, all right, that's good. I'll, um, we'll check out this place more later, but it's on my map now. 
Um, and it's just, it's a good location for getting um, new items. I actually can't remember how good the items you can get there are, but we'll check that out more when I have more money. Um, I'm also concerned about Luwin. And you actually can, I believe, buy new stuff in Luwin as well once it's rebuilt. It's just that right now there isn't really a ton I can do with it. Um, anyway, um, we have one more stop to make before we uh, can do one. I might as well get these monuments, uh, monuments so I can activate long range mode. Long range mode literally is what it sounds like. And there's a skit over there. Um, it just gives me the ability to see farther, but essentially you ride Moish. Or at least that's the visual it gives you. Professor, what did you study? Was it at some really big school somewhere? I've never been to school. I took several tests, but I never attended a formal school study to various, uh, due to various circumstances. Wow, I never realized that people can get smart like you without do going to school. As long as you have the will, you can study anywhere. I get it. Since I don't have the will, I don't understand what you teach in class. Don't sound so proud about it. I know that you can do it if you just try harder. I mean, you're able to learn intricate crafting techniques. <laughs> well, I have the will to do that. I guess it's fine. Even I sometimes can't achieve the desired end result. Like cooking. I hate to admit it, but yes. There's a cooking school. I'd love to attend it. Probably, it's probably useless. So you'll get better eventually. This is definitely the, the option. You'll get better eventually. Thank you, Lloyd. Even if it's only to console me. <laughs> okay, maybe that wasn't the best option. I don't know. I'd have to see what happens if... Uh, I don't know. It depends on what the other one would lead to. Because it could potentially lead to him being like... It probably wouldn't help. Like, you're... You're, uh, you're smart enough to learn it on your own. Like, that. like, sometimes it can go farther than just what's told. At least that's generally speaking how these things work. Um, I might as well just activate all these. Um, what's the other thing? Right, right. Uh, the fishing village. I already tried to do this a while back. Uh, but I think the cutscene should activate now. So, Izuold. Oh, Izuold! Um, let's see. No, still no, still nothing. There's something I'm missing? Or maybe it only pops up at the end of the game. Huh. I'm not sure. Um, I guess we'll see. Um, there is a side quest that we can do here at some point, though. Um, I might not have activated all the events required to do it, or maybe it only happens later in the game. I don't know. Um, but alright, let's go back to that ranch, then. It has been a while. I did not do as much as I'd hoped to. Uh, but oh well. Yeah, so we're... Oh, right. It's not in that place over here. Um, so we have returned once again to see how awful these places are. I also never have to pay for those boats again. Ah, yes. The tub boats. All right. Uh, Palma Costa Ranch. Here we go. Or Palma Costa. Renegades. Oh. So that's it. Neo and the others couldn't tell the difference between the designs and the Renegades. We've been waiting for you. Are you saying you were expecting us to come here? Does it really matter? We have more important things to discuss, such as joining forces. Unbelievable. You actually expect us to trust you after all you've done to Lloyd and Colette? The circumstances have changed. <laughs> Do you know of the giant Carlon tree? The legendary giant tree is said to have existed in the holy ground of Carlon, right? It's the tree of life which produces infinite mana. Infinite ma mana, eh? Isn't that just a fairy tale? The giant Carlon tree indeed existed. The Carlon War exhausted its mana supply and the tree wilted away. Not so infinite after all. And now all that remains is its seed left in the holy ground of Carlon. The seed of the giant tree is in the final seal? It is known as the Great Seed. Are you talking about the soul of Mythos? Now that is a fairy tale. The Great Seed, the source of the world's mana, is the seed of the giant tree. The Great Seed is absolutely vital in order to reunite the two worlds. 
reunite the two worlds? I believe I told you before, Yggdrasil is the creator of the two worlds. Originally, yeah. the world was one, but Yggdrasil ripped it asunder. How is it even possible for someone to split the world apart? It was possible for Yggdrasil. The two worlds have managed to survive by vying for the small amount of mana seeping from the Great Sea. Okay. So that's why the cycle of flourishing and declining continues, and the Chosen goes on a journey of regeneration. But if the Great Sea germinates, the giant tree will be restored and the cycle will come to an end. Yeah. How do we resurrect the giant tree? The Great Seed is nearly dead. We must expose it to a large amount of mana in order to save it. All right. There's no supply of mana like that to be found anywhere in the world. Crucius's base, Daris Carlon, is a comet made from a giant mass of mana. It lies suspended in the sky high above this land. All we have to do is use that. Well, oh, boy. True, why doesn't Yggdrasil revive the giant tree? All of Daris Carlon's mana is being given to Martell for the sake of resurrecting her. What? By using the power of a Crucius crystal, Martell's soul lives on, existing as a part of the Great Seed. Right. If Martell awakes, the Great Seed will be absorbed into her and disappear. The reverse also holds true. That would literally end the world, though. That's what we're talking to about. That from happening. Yukdrasil protects the Great Seed with the seals of the Summon Spirits. So that's why the Renegades are trying to stop Martell's revival. Yes. We will make the Great Seed germinate. As a result, Martell will be absorbed by the Seed, and then... The giant Carlon tree will be reborn. If that happens, will the two worlds become one again? That I don't know. The only certainty is that the world will end if the seed is lost. Yeah, well, because it's the source of life. So, you're gonna have Miss Martell be a good little girl and disappear. Martell is already dead. If it weren't for Daris Carlin's mana, her soul would have disappeared a long time ago. Why is Yggdrasil so obsessed with Martell? That doesn't matter. What's important is that we see to it that the Great Seed germinates. Oh, it's, it matters. <laughs> Up till now, the Great Seed has been protected by the summon spirits of the declining world. The Mana Links. Correct. Now that the links have begun to unravel, the Great Seed's protection has weakened. Because we have been forming pacts with the summon spirits of both worlds. Yep. Now I understand why you want us to join you. It's because we have Sheena, a summoner. Ewan, are you with Crucius or are you with the Renegades? I am with Crucius. And I am also the leader of the Renegades. A double agent? In other words, a traitor. So, what's your decision? Okay. Lloyd, you're going to trust him? Don't really have a choice. Yeah. He's revealed the fact that he is a traitor. He's putting himself on the line. That has to mean something. I'll trust him too. You were headed towards Rhode Isle's ranch, correct? You sure know a lot about what we're doing. You have a spy watching us or something? No kidding. But either way, we have to stop that mana cannon thing before it's completed. We also have a debt to pay back to Rodile. Yep. The ranch and mana cannon system should be interlinked. Disabling the control room should be our first priority. You seem to know quite a lot about them. We have a reason to infiltrate Rodile's ranch as well. We can guide you to the entrance if you like. We're teaming up, right? Of course. Please take us there. Why are you going to the ranch? We need to make preparations to fire men at the Great Seed. Oh, by the way. Oh, right. We are dimensional I forgot about transfer that. system will be offline while we make our preparations. You'll have to wait until after we infiltrate the ranch if you want to get back to Tetheala. Got it. Talk to Boda when you're ready. I'll leave the rest to you, Boda. That was like a really slow head turn. That was ominous. Understood. Great. Uh, I hate to say it, but I have to end things there. I know almost nothing happened this episode. I apologize for that. I legitimately thought that stuff uh, would be unlocked at this point back in Silveron. Um, but not the case. Um, I'll probably go and like visit cities and stuff later on. Uh, but for now, I want to get back to Tefiol as well because I want to fight the Sword Dancer again. Um, which I still can do as far as I know. There is a certain point where I get cut off, but I'm, I don't believe I'm there yet. Um, so I'm not that worried about it. Hopefully I won't miss the quest altogether because it's, it's a pretty great quest. Um, and it leads to some pretty awesome uh, items if you complete it. Um, anyway, uh, next time we will go to Rodile's Ranch. 
Uh, <laughs> things are gonna get exciting here. So uh, thank you for uh, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you liked the video. Either way, uh, leave con I encourage you to leave constructive criticism in the comments as it helps to improve the quality of my videos and hopefully also the quality of your enjoyment. If you wish to see more of my content, you can click on the left side of the video for the previous episode, the right side of the video for either the next episode or a recommended video, and you can click on my channel icon in the center to subscribe to my channel for further notifications on my content. So thank you again, have a great day, and I'll see all of you very, very soon.